What is going on guys, it's Mexican Mohawk here, and welcome to Rise to the Top. We are playing as a Mexican team, playing in the 5th division of the Mexican League, which is pretty dang low, actually. Pretty dang low. We're going to start, yeah, and of course, in the bottom of the league, the Mexican 3rd division, group 8. There's a, lot, there's a lot of subdivisions, I'll talk about that later. Anyways, we're starting at the very bottom. We have a club right here I created. I love the kits, man. Let's just look at how beautiful the kits are. Dang freaking beautiful. I love them. Anyways, our team, of course, is called Monteros FC. They're in the third division of Group 8. And our goal for this series, of course, win the Boncomer Liga MX trophy. And win the Champions League. And probably, if we can, win the Copa Libertadores. So, let's get on with this. Let's Let's talk about stuff. Of course, Monteros FC is the club's name. Red and black and white is our colors. And their kits just look beautiful. Amazingly beautiful. Our professional status is very amateur, in which I will talk about that later. Uh, we're very local, so we don't we don't get a lot of fans. Uh, our finances are okay. I give it a little bit of money so that, you know, you can boost up, start up. And... Of course, our, our ground is called Saran Bernardino in Texcoco. Uh, 5,000 people could go in. There's grass. It's, it's very good, and that's the light. I don't know if you care about that any, at all. Uh, general, I don't think I... I think I already named everything that it's general about. News, not much news. Yeah, I already said about that. Affiliates, we don't have any affiliates. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I did, I did simulate all the way to our first league game. So, let's just talk about the results. We beat Cafeta Cafetaleros uh, Alcaldes 1-0 with a goal from Ronald Rodriguez. I guess we'll talk about the players later. AMB, AMB, which is the Amer... I think that's... What, what's it called? Atletico Estado de Mexico FC. This is their B team, and we tied them 0-0. We play SB Can Canami. Hmm, Canami. I had, that's a weird name. And their B team, and we lost to their to their team... 3-1, and we tied Real Halcones, 0-0. And we're about to pay, face City Club Deportivo Rurapan. And what really scares me is that they got relegated from a from a season uh, a season ago. So yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be fun to watch. Yay. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, the the, chat, the subdivision I was talking about. This is one of our subdivisions. We're in Group Eight, and then there's. And a whole lot of other groups, like literally a ton. There's 14 groups in total, containing a total of 20 or less than 20 teams. And they're all pretty good. I just, I, I don't know why this one exists, but it's okay. Then after that, we go into the second division of uh, Great Talent. That's what it's called. We either go to Group 1 or Group 2. Then we go into the second division, which is pretty much the third division. The third highest division in the Mexican uh, league table. We play them, and then that's a, that's a subdivision. So we either play that, and then we play in the Ascenso, which also we also get promoted to. And last but not least, we do go into the per, the per, freaking Premier League. What else are we supposed to do? That all right? Not much much to say, other than just get promoted and win games. That's all I have to say. Let's check out our players. I. It does something different. I actually signed players instead of actually, you know, uh, give them a contract from, the, you know, these these kind of players. And it worked out very, very well. Very, very well. Oh, we have a ton of good players right here. I'm just going to go from here to the top from our starting lineup. Because these are the players that I'm, I'm just going to be actually using. Oh, sorry. I'm going to be using for this this campaign so let's get on with it let's go with Alejandro Cantu he's our goalkeeper he has improved when I got him he's a f he's a very good rating for our senior team so we, I hope he put some to performance out there he's a young goalkeeper of course they're all young they're all under 17 years old that's f funny uh, Oscar Arcega of course one of our best players in our club of yeah uh, does right back I, don't, I think there's more he could do a little bit more you know Stat wise, so I hope he gets improved over the couple of weeks. We got Hector Enrique Barron, our center back, our one of our main center backs. I think he's our best. 
Yes, he's our best center back. Alongside him, we have Emmanuel Nova. I bought him because he could play all these positions. This is literally a back line. So in case one of our players just gets injured, he could fill in pretty easily. Uh, and same with Oscar Trevino, but he's a he's more a central defender instead of a fullback. But I'm going to play him as fullback because he's a lot better than our backup fullback. So I'm just going to leave him there, and he's, he'll, be, he'll be good there. <laughs> Uh, Victor Hugo Acuna, he's a two-star. I don't know why he says he's a yeah, he's a two-star. He's our weakest player in our first starting eleven, but I think he could do a difference, especially since he's a ball-winning midfielder in defensive and midfield-wise. So we, we he's gonna be a good player for us. And then we have our midfield, uh, another midfielder, Edgar Borrego, Borrego, <laughs> a pig. Uh, not much to say about him. We have our right winger right here. It's pretty much an inside forward. He's pretty good. Pretty like him. I really like him. His pace is just lacking, but I, sh I wish he could get a little bit more pace. Edgar Castellijos. I really want to switch. Actually, I'm going to switch him out. Edgar Borrego is going to play attacking mid. He's going to play midfielder. Yeah, he's more of a midfielder than an attacking mid, so I'm going to leave him there. I completely forgot. Raul Rodriguez. I did mention him a little bit before. He scored our first goal. Into club in a friendly against uh, who was it again? Cafeteleros. Uh, and yeah, he, he was our first goal scorer for the club of all time. Just wait until the, the competitive. Comp God damn it. Just wait until our competitive game. I hope he could get one in, bag one in. Our striker, of course, is Javier Martinez right here. He's a poacher. His first touch is really, really good. His finishing is a little bit lacking, but I think he could do fairly well for our position right there. And there is our bench, of course, if you want to pause and see them. I don't think you want to. This guy is actually doing training-wise pretty good. He's another striker that I really want to put in. He's, uh, he, his finishing is off the charts. I'm, um, you know, He's going to be back up to Javier Martinez. Anyway, that is the squad right there. I talk about the league. I talk about our... Oh, I haven't talked about for, for tactics. We're gonna be playing a four-two-three-one. That's uh, that's our only that's our only gateway right now. I think our players could play. Yeah, they could play left mid. So in case of uh, we need to go into a four-four-two, uh, we could, or if we could go like a four-three, a four-three-two-one, no four-two-three, no a four-three-one-two. I'm just saying numbers. A four-two, a four, blah, blah, blah. a four-three-one-two. That will actually perfectly well work well as well. They're just saying you have to change the formation to a 4-4-2. I don't care. This is going to work for me perfectly. Haha. -ha! It's just a little bit unfamiliar for them. But it's, of course, they're a new club. They're, they're getting started. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. And that's uh, that's pretty much it, I think. So for our team report, we need another winger, a right winger. A lot more depth in their, in their team because our, te our team is not really deep. That's not weird. Deep. Coaching staff, I coaches are okay because they're the best in the division, so it's it's all good in the hood. Scouting team, same with them. I didn't see that. Yeah, scouts are the same thing, so we don't need to worry about that just now. Just now, might in the future, but not now. And our we're physically strong, so that's a that's a that's a good thing to see. Anyways, I yeah, I need to mention something else too. Where is my schedule? Uh, let's just start with the club. We are amateur uh, status in our in our league, right? And Everyone else is either professional semi or semi-professional. Oh, it's going to be difficult because semi-professionals do actually practice three times a week. And professionals actually practice every day, Monday through Friday. So this team is a professional team. And we're going to be facing them. And they, they won against their B team. And they 5-1. And they beat against Alac Alacranes, who were on the second division of the great talents. Holy crap. So they beat them, so they're going to be a very, very difficult squad. Their best player right here, Alejandro Alamo, it's, I scouted him to see how good he was. He was two stars. He wasn't that great, but it, again, our scouts are really, really bad, 11% scouted. So I really can't trust them with that. Everyone else is semi-professional, professional. It's going to be a tough, tough ride. There's actually two Monarcas in this team. It's going to be fun playing them, huh? That is gonna be great. And our competition, of course, they they have a season preview, and so far that's is gonna be good. Our best players are are Arcega and Trevino. 
That's our dream 11 right here. That's it's pretty much every single player for me. Anyways, we're predicted to be finished third. We're predicted to finish third, and that's going to be concerning since finishing third is not a good thing. Actually, it is a good thing, but in our league, third is not going to get us into a qualifying spot for the next uh, pyramid level. So it's going to be a difficult one. It's going to be a difficult road. Of course, we're only going to play 17, te 17 teams. <laughs> 17 times. And most of them are going to be playing in our own stadium, in our own backyard, which is great. Anyways, let's get on with let's get on with it. It's been 10 minutes. I've been rambling too much. Let's get on with what uh, what really matters today. And he's going to be playing Sidhu. Club Deportivo. <laughs> I always say Sidhu. Club Deportivo Urapan. Let's see how well we do against that. Knowing the league, and there's a total of 24 games. I think I might only do the professional teams because those are the ones that really matter. So there's one professional, there's two, uh, three. It's a lot of clicking. I only see, th okay, there's only three professional teams. I might do the, uh, where is our season preview? I might do Morelia. I already did those. Okay, those one, two, three, four, uh, five, Monarch, five. Six and probably Celaya seven. We're playing those three, those two, those all those teams in an episode. So let's hope we can get a good result in this in this league and hopefully beat Morelia, uh, you know, beat their spot and be second place. So as soon as the league starts, it's it it's set. We can't move up and or, or down. So this is what we're gonna be looking at. There's an odd of four to one. So one dollar <laughs> gives me four. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good season for us. I feel that. I feel it in my bones. So let's get on with this. Let's match preview this. They're playing a 4-3-3. We're going to have Cantu, Arciga, Baron, Nava, Trevino, Acuna, Castillos, Prieto, Borrego, Rodriguez, and Martinez as our first 11 for our first competitive match of the season. Let's get on with this. I'm really anticipating a good result because I, I, I really want my players to, to succeed and be great team players and hopefully you know bring the club a lot of glory bring them into the first division bring a Red Bull Leipzig experience like from the bottom to the top so let's hope for that and hope we don't get hated for it because you know that's not good being hated for something that you know you didn't do because you just wanted to play football and I said football yes lol uh, and of course, I think I have it to extended. Uh, I think I have it to extended. No, I do have to key moments. So everything you're about to see here is just going to be key moments of the game. So let's see how well we do. Of course, they're all good. Freaking, they're freaking match fit. Unlike us, we're not really match fit because you know we're amateurs and we don't. Uh, we only practice twice a week. These guys practice five days a week, so they're 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 pretty match fit. They do keep possession of the ball, and they're doing it fairly well because they're just passing around our our half of the field, and they do manage to get a chance. Adio sends it in, and Asensio puts it in the back of the net. No, no, not to worry, not to worry. It's just three minutes, and we definitely get a goal in. We still have plenty of time, lads. We got we got time. It's a little bit lack of defending, so we we just we that we could be worked out in the weekend. So this is this is just working out. Nava loses the ball. Adio's through. Takes a shot just wide. Just wide. It's okay. Clearly, they have more possession than us. We are not completing most of our passes. Headers, we're not winning ours either. And Acuna is injured. What is that? A Bruce Shin? He can continue playing, right? What does our scout say? Oh, this, they want them to sub him off. I might. Acuna, no, well, not anymore. He wins the ball. Martinez gets the ball, alright? Prieto gets it. Gets. Close down. Preto sends it again. There we go. Good possessive passing. And Martinez gets rid of it. Now it gets rid of it again. Martinez gets it back. Borrego takes a shot, lad. Oh. <clears throat> that was unlucky. That was unlucky. Van Ranking gets the ball. Good save from him. Everyone's not doing so so hot. Our defense are just uh, crumbling under the pressure. I know it's our first game last, but we could, we could do this. I'm, I'm going to give him a little inspiration. So passionate. Uh, I know we're on the guys, but yeah, go on for the performance that you're sure about. So let's get some shots in. Uh, he's on yellow too. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. Maldonado has to come in. 
Maldonado is our backup midfielder, and we don't have any more backup midfielders, so let's hope for the best. Cup of tea. Not even a cup of tea. Oh, another from the second half, and they take a header, and it goes up and over. It's okay, lads. It's okay. Pick it up. Let's go, Imperadores. Good possessive football right there. Nava, see Stravenio. Can you send one in? Whip it in. Rodriguez sees it. Whip it in, Prieto. Oh, we got a first goal. Prieto is the first competitive goal scorer of our club. Well done from Trevino to actually give it to Rodriguez. Rodriguez, good, good center. Look at that. Whipped right across the goal. And Prieto just right there inside the J6R box. Very tight angle to actually put that in. So that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Good to see. And now they're in the counter because the way the beat does, Vargas sends it in. He kicks it in. Cantu couldn't save that for his life. Vargas sends it into the back of the net. That's unlucky from the fellows right there. Unlucky. You're lucky that they just countered. He freaking fell for that. Vargas hits freaking Navas, I think. And it's just poor defending right there. We had our chances. Now we got to put it again. We need to put another one again just to keep it tied. Come on. Just keep him specifically mark him. Make another sub. I need I need I need more up top. We need Felix Martin. Marin. Marin, not Martin. My bad. My bad. Rodriguez did do well given that good assist. But he's getting tired, so I'm just gonna put Sergio Chavez, which is our right mid right attacking left mid or waiter wider. And he gets tackled. The first thing, oh Castillo does get the ball back. Trevino sends it in and just banged ranking. It was Mmm. Unlucky from the lads. We do we get it back. We don't. We do win the header though. That's a that's a plus. It's something to see. Sadio does get the ball. They're they're through. Can he's, oh, and we have given a pen. Hector Baron just gives away a penalty. A stupid pen. A stupid freaking pen from Baron. Let's hope for Kantu can save it. He did not. But it was too powerful for him. Oh, this is this is not going well for our debut competitive match. It's okay. It happens for all great clubs. Oh, it's just impossible for him. Literally in the middle. He could have done better, but it's okay. Hey, right, let's take a positive out of this. We did get a goal out. Of, we did get a goal out of a professional team. Can we get a second one? Oh, it's just over the bar. It's okay. It's okay. It's a, we at least we have nice kids. It's three one. It's not. It's not a. I wouldn't say it's a bad result. We are. We were the underdogs. For that match, it's okay. There's still a lot. There's like 33 more matches to play. It's a, it's still a very winnable, winnable league. Even though we, you know, we lost to a professional team. We're amateurs. We get we. I think our finances. As soon as we get it hit a oh, hundred thousand, we could turn professional or semi-professional even better. And you guys could be able to train even better and become stronger and everything. It's all good in the hood. Next match, we're going to be facing Irapuato. Ooh. I might want to save that for later. I'm going to play Morelia in a double header because they, we literally play them side by side. This is going to be great. A great matchup against, you know, Monarcas affiliates. It's just weird to see two freaking Monarcas in the same group. I don't even know. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. It's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a long season. It's gonna be a long series, and I hope y'all stick with it. Stick with us, of course. And I'll see you in the next one.